Audio Jungle. Hi everyone, it's Krista. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new, hi again. So I love to do all kinds of DIYs on a budget. Dollar Tree DIYs, thrift flips, farmhouse, rustic, wreaths, and seasonal decor. So if you like what you see here, you know what to do. Hit that red subscribe button. Leave me a comment. I love to hear what you guys think. And also give me a thumbs up. That helps my channel. You can also follow me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. But today is all about Hocus Pocus 2, yes, and our host is Indy Annie Jones. So more of that in a minute, but first DIY number one. So these are all about Hocus Pocus today. So I'm taking one of these little book stacks, one of these doll houses from the Dollar Tree. I printed something out on my Cricut, and also I'm going to be using some paint. So the first paint I'm using is the ink. It's the black paint by Waverly. It is a chalk paint and I'm gonna paint that whole book stack. Now I'm just only gonna use the top of the dollhouse from the Dollar Tree this time. So I am going to use my little spongy tool get in between all those nooks and crannies and paint that black as well. Next, I am going to glue the bottom of the top of this house and I'm going to stack it right on top of my little book stack, which is not going to be a book stack anymore, but there it is. And then that is what I printed out on my Cricut. It's a Hocus Pocus. I get it with my Cricut um, special access. I pay for it monthly. So you can't get it for free, but if you have a Cricut, you can purchase it. Next, I am going to take some of this silver, um, it's like a metallic paint, and I am going to dry brush it over the house and the bottom part of it as well and all over the front of that um, Cricut design that I put in front. This has Hocus Pocus, of course. This was super easy, you guys, and that was it for this one. Here's your close-up. So today's all about Hocus Pocus 2. This is my favorite favorite movie and it's hosted by Indy Annie Jones. I will have her link down below plus the playlist of everyone who is participating. So check them out. DIY number two, I am going to be making the Hocus Pocus book of spells. So I am using the Dollar Tree eyeballs that you see there. This book that it's a fake book actually that I got from the thrift store and I'm going to be going in and using some paper towels and Mod Podge. And what I'm doing is I'm basically Mod Podging the nap, I mean the paper towels onto the book. So I'm putting some Mod Podge down, then I'm going on top and I'm kind of like mushing and, you know, mushing it up, making it look like, I want this to look like the actual um, book from the movie. So I want it to look like it's made of that skin because that's what it's made of. And so this is what I'm doing. And this is how I'm getting that look. So this is really super fun to do. Um, and I had a ball doing it. And I just kept doing this throughout the whole book. I did the top. I did the bottom and the sides. Um, I wanted it to be completely finished and look like the real thing. So that's what I did. And I just kept ripping, tearing, and just kept putting more Mod Podge down and then using my sponge to kind of soak up, you know, the Mod Podge into the paper towel. And once it was all done and dry, that's what it looks like. So now it looks kind of like it's like that skin color on the outside. So next I'm going in with the color Cocoa Bean by Folk Art. And I am just using my spongy brush to kind of like dab it and get in there really good because I want it to be the same color as the book as well. But then I realized I should have put the eyeball down first. So this is what I'm doing. I stopped what I was doing. I took the eyeball. I took it apart and took the top piece off. This way it was flat to put on the book. And then I put it right down. And now I'm taking one of these rubber snakes. Um, you get a package of these snakes at... I actually got mine at Walmart. I have not seen them at Dollar Tree. 
and I'm just cutting it apart and I'm making that round like little lid part for the eye eyeball and I'm going around it with that because I'm like what am I going to use around this eye and I figured this was a good idea so that's what I did I just cut it in pieces and kept like because it has the curves you know on the snake so it went around the eyeball really really well so then I ran out of black so I just went in with the other colors it really didn't matter because it's all going to be one color anyways so once I get that all done and then I'm going to take some more snakes and I'm going to paint a paint I'm going to glue two of them down in the corners like so just like the book and it, that's in the movie and then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom just so it's kind of like kitty corner it looks like the snakes moving around the corners of the book and then I have two snakes going close to the binder of the book and once I get those all nice and glued down I should mention that the hot glue did not work very well so I had to use also some super glue just a heads up on that one and next I'm using my hot glue to make like the little stitches and those lines that are on the book um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Hocus Pocus, but if you haven't, you got to watch it. It is the best movie, Halloween movie of all time, guys. And um, yeah, this is what's on the book. So I'm using my hot glue gun to make those little lines. And then on the side of the book, I am writing the word spells because that's what it says on the book. So that's what I put on the side. And I also put a couple more on the back of those little uh, lines that you saw me drawing with the glue gun and also on the binder as well. And then once I get those all done, that's when I'm going to go in and paint everything. So using these sponge, uh, sponge brushes from the Dollar Tree worked really, really well for this type of a project because it got in all those nooks and crannies really well. So there it is. Now I'm gonna do the sides and next I'm gonna go in with a lighter tan color paint and I'm just gonna mix a little bit of the cocoa bean, I'm sorry, coffee bean. I keep saying cocoa bean. And I am going to do a dry brush over the book. Now this went on a little heavy at first so I just grabbed a wipey and I kind of smudged it in and it was fine. So the top of the book was kind of like glossy after the Mod Podge. So it worked out really, really well because when I wiped with the wipey, it wiped right off. So it was perfect. But I wanted this to look like that skin color, but also have the dark colors of the backing of the book as well. So that's what I did with a dry brush. And whenever I went in some heavy spots, I just kind of smudged it in a little and it made it look even better. So... It turned out so much better than I expected, and I'm so happy with how this turned out. And there it is, all nice and dry brushed. So now next, I came in with a silver paint. Um, it's like a metallic paint, and I'm going to dry brush on those um, snakes. So I wanted those to kind of stand out to look a little bit more like they were metal, and not too much blended in with the book. So I just gave them a little dry brushing of this silver metallic paint and it worked out perfectly. And I think this thing came out so good. I showed my kids and they were like, wow, mom, that's awesome. And I was like, well, I got the seal of approval because if my kids like it, it's a good thing. <laughs> so here it is. Okay, so you guys got to let me know which one you like the best down in the description, I mean in the comments below. So now this one's really quick, so don't blink because you might miss it. I got these candles from the Dollar Spot at Target, and I am just going to make the black light candle. And I don't know if I did that good or not, but anyways, you know what I mean. And it's a black light, and here it is.
And the thing you saw the candle standing on, actually, I had that. So I made that in my last DIY. So now I am going to take some chocotour, and I bought the Hocus Pocus chocotour uh uh, stencil and I absolutely love this you guys so I got the blackboard from the Dollar Tree I mean Target dollar spot and all I did was fuzz it that's what you do I'm a chuck -a tour designer and I um, had to make the sign so I'm using some white chalk paste and I will have the link down below to chalk -a tour if you are interested in you know purchasing anything or taking a look at what's in the shop and if you have any questions, just feel free to leave me a message and I will get back to you about it. But it's super fun. It's so easy to use and I absolutely love it. And I'm just using my little uh, squeegee to, you know, pull it through my stencil. And um, this comes out super, super cool. And it's super easy to make. So easy. And when you're all done, you just wash your stencil. Look at this. Cool, right? I love it. So next, I am taking some of this webbing that you get at the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to put a little bit of cobwebs on the sides of my sign to give it a little more of a spooky look. So kind of like the sign, you know, uh, which is brooms. <laughs> and I went along and I just put little dabs of glue just to kind of hold that cobweb down so it's not like coming off or like flying all over the place because this stuff can be really tricky. So once I got it on on this side, and then I did the other side as well. And then you're going to see me come in with a couple other things as well. But first, um, I cut it off in the back. And then what I do is I take some popsicle sticks and to help keep it down in the back I just put some glue on the popsicle stick and then I just glued it down on the edges and that's what keeps it from catching on things and pulling um, the webbing and all that kind of stuff so it just kind of keeps it in place and then I went on the other side and I'm going to do the same thing but first I'm going to take some of these rings these spider rings from the Dollar Tree as well and I'm going to glue those down just a couple of them in the little web there and then on the other side is where I'm going to put the other webbing so I kind of want to have it on both sides and I thought all that space that I had on both sides of this picture uh, frame that you know on this board it was going to be perfect so it turned out really great. I love the sign and I'm so happy I got the chocolate tour stuff because these are the easiest DIYs, I tell ya. And then I took one of the bats from the Dollar Tree and I glued that in the corner as well on the other side there. And I just made sure I held it down until it's set. And then I came in with some more silver this is the steel color by Waverly. And I just kind of did like a light dry brushing on the bat and the um, the spiders just to give them a little more something, kind of make them pop a little more away from the dark sign. And they that just worked out perfectly as well. And there it is, you guys. And that's it. Here's your close up. So that's it, you guys. I hope you like everything. Make sure you check out the playlist and take out the host. And I will see you guys again soon. And remember, stay crafty. Bye.